What is going on guys, this is Shroom up here, and today I want to talk about how to get your win-loss ratio to pick it up, pick itself up and, you know, just move up instead of your kill-death ratio, which um, sometimes in improving your win-loss, you might have to sacrifice your kill-death just a little bit, but uh, not too much. Like mine, mine isn't too bad, but my win-loss isn't the greatest either, but I'm trying to get it above 1, maybe uh, 1 1.5 sooner or later. But don't pay attention to the bad aim, bad grenade throw, Simtex of the car um, at the very beginning of this because this was my first game. And for some reason, sometimes I have really good first games. But if I were to play those like for my fifth, sixth, seventh games of the day, I would do a lot better. But this is my first one. I do one or two, mostly one time of combat training before I play an actual game. But this is the one after that. And my aim get is a little sloppy towards the beginning, as you will see shortly with the Galil. And whenever you see me pick up the Galil, um, look away, guys. It is really bad whenever I try to kill these two guys. And I'm disappointed in myself because it was really bad aim. But, I mean, what, what can you say? It's like your first game, and uh, your aim is never too good. And I'm, I've never really been good with the Galil for some reason. Everybody loves it, and I don't. But, um... Anyways, I want to talk about my last video for a second here because this is a fairly long video. And my last video talked about sex and porn. And I did mention a thing about gay people and how I didn't think it was right and all that stuff. And that got a lot of comments and stuff. Um, one dude who actually, I guess, hates me now or something for some reason. And, um, I mean, I can't help it. I... I'm voicing my opinion. I don't. I do not expect y'all to believe with me. I do not expect 100% of you to believe or, um, I don't know, agree with me actually. And there really is no way to please 100% of the people in the world. Um, I mean, look at the country and the president. You cannot please everybody. Somebody is always gonna hate what you're doing, not like it. And that was that one dude. Um, I don't know, posting the hate comments on my thing. And I actually thought it was kind of funny because um, I was just interacting with them. And I liked how you guys kind of backed me up on that. And, you know, guys, I was just trying to say my opinion. And for future videos, whenever I do something that's a con controversial pro um, topic to talk about, it is my opinion. And I know I said I was sorry if I, like, I guess offended anybody in that video, um, which I am. I mean, basic thing is... Um, I do not believe that you were meant to be gay, I guess. Um, I, this is not really what this commentary is for. It's just, that's my opinion. You can agree with it or not. You don't have to rage on all this stuff about what you believe because this is just me. Um, you don't have to believe me. There's no two people alike in what they believe. There's always something different. And maybe that's just one of the things that's different between me and you is that. But anyways, let me talk about the gameplay here because I'm starting to do a little bit better I guess get a little more interactive and um yeah so one of the ways or you might have noticed but I get the same turret on here and I've actually been using the same turret a lot recently and the reason why I do that is because it gives you XP's and lets you level up faster whenever you don't have to do anything uh, if you use hardline you just get three kills like a spy plane set it down in a good spot and just helicopters 400 XP's and spy planes 150 XP's and if you're playing a good team and you have a spy plane up um, you're, you're gonna get a good bit of XP's a couple thousand actually is what I usually do and in this one I thought it was a good representation because I got a lot of SAM turrets and stuff so one of the ways to actually help out your win loss is to shoot down air support uh, anything UAVs uh, care packages are okay if you just want to get air, uh, XP's which is really good, which will actually help you level up faster. And I think helping your team win actually helps you level up faster. Your KD doesn't really make you level up faster unless you get, like, a gunship or anything like that. But your win loss is really good because in, like, Search and Destroy, you get um, extra XP for winning the rounds and stuff like that. So winning a game or a round really helps your, helps your XPs out a lot if you want to level up fast. Like I do because I do not get to play a lot because of the way my life is. And whenever I play, I like to go, I guess, try hard and win the games. Um, for some reason, I was getting put into these bad lobbies where nobody on my team loves 
likes to capture a flag, plant a bomb, um, anything. Or they team deathmatch, they'll camp. I mean, it's just like so for some, for some reason, Call of Duty just puts me in the wrong lobbies um, to fit my play style, and it's it's kind of annoying actually. But that's one way to help out your win-loss ratio is to shoot down air support. The other way is to obviously play the objective. Um, team deathmatch, they say there's no objective. But the objective to Team Deathmatch is to get more kills than deaths. It helps out your team more if you get 5 kills and 2 deaths than if you were to get 15 kills and 25 deaths. See how like your kills are less than your deaths? The objective of Team Deathmatch is to get more kills than deaths and have more people on your team do that than the other team. And I know there's sometimes where, like today, I totally raped the other team and my team was terrible nobody had over like eight or seven kills and I did really good but I can't I could I, would, blah, I can't upload that gameplay because I just had to leave to um to go I had to get off so I can't use that gameplay it would have been a pretty good one I think it was uh, it was on Havana or something I'm not too sure I haven't got too many gameplays with that I don't think but that's how you get um to win on Team Deathmatch. Plus, you play with your players, and that's one good way to win and make your win loss ratio go up. The other way is to use Spy Plane and Blackbird. Spy Plane is really good, especially if you're using Hardline, because every two kills, pop, you got a Spy Plane. Two more kills, Spy Plane. Two more kills, Spy Plane. And sometimes I can get like 10, 12 Spy Planes in the game, and if you have multiple friends, you can just run Spy Plane the entire time. The more you get it once, the faster the scan and the spy planes will help you get the blackbird and then the blackbird will help you get or kill other people to help you get other kill streaks and in return for your selfless playing by using non killless kill streaks like the spy plane and blackbird you will then get the major kill streaks that give you a lot of kills as such as the chopper gunner attack dogs uh... gunship and uh... like rolling thunder so that is one really good way to win is to use Spy Plane and Blackbird and preferably other people on your team using it too. And um, if you do, if you are playing by yourself like I do sometimes, um, run it anyways. It really will help you out sometimes. But sometimes you just get into the bad lobbies that have nobody doing the objective or anything in the game. And, you know, it gets you mad sometimes. But that's uh, another way. The other way that you could help out yourself some is you could use a suppressor, and that's pretty much good for I don't know, getting in people's spawn areas, getting up and close and personal with them, and just pretty much killing them insanely, and well, you know, without your other teammates knowing. Um, that's one good way. The other good way is if you're not in a party chat uh, or a private chat with somebody else, you can if you're playing domination like this. What I do a lot. And if you're playing with some guys that interact a little bit, you know, those lobbies that don't talk at all, it's not really good to do this in. But call out, like in MLG and stuff, call out what they're capturing. Call out where they're going. Um, you don't have to call out the actual names like you would use in MLG stuff. But, you know, say if they're capping B, like right um, here some around this time, and say they're capping B if you died or something. Say you died capturing B. And, you know, that will in return help you out a lot to win your game's um, demolition if they're planning the bomb. I really don't play Capture the Flag or Headquarters a lot. I used to play Headquarters in COD 4 uh, pretty much all the time. That was the only thing I played because I wasn't really good. And if I got on a good team, I got XP's no matter what because, you know, you get XP's for your Headquarters. But anyways, guys, this video is over. Um, sorry for the little thing I talked about in the beginning of this video about the previous video I had. So, um, it's all my opinion, guys, and I hope you like this video. It's my opinion of how to get a better win-loss ratio, win-loss ratio, and sometimes that will, in return, help you with your KD ratio to use Spy Plane, Blackbird, and all that good junk. But anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this. Please rate, comment, subscribe, and I think that kind of sounds weird saying that because I haven't said it in a while because um, I really just do these videos for the fun of it, and I hope you guys see that and enjoyed this, and I will see you guys later.